less than 30 repeating decimals. That's what we're going to be looking at today. First up, what's a repeating decimal? Repeating decimals are just decimals that have digits that repeat after the decimal point and never come to an end. So that's what you see the, the ellipses, those three dots at the end, just means it continues going on. And we give them a name, a repetent, for those digits that repeat. And when we have repeating decimals, we always put a bar line, or use the bar notation, put it over the digits that repeat. So in the example of 0 0.44 repeating, you put the bar over the 4 because the 4 is repeating. Or in 0 0.363636 and so on, the 36 is repeating, so they put the bar over 36 and so on. So when you look at repeating decimals, you have to go until you see that uh, the digits are actually repeating. So here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You got to make sure you see all those digits in a row like that. Okay, and then the repeating part, we go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's take a look at some examples. Express the death, the fraction, or mixed number as a decimal number. So one sixth. So we would need to divide this. So I just usually put 1.00 with a bunch of zeros in there, and then divide by six. One can't go into, or six can't go into one, but six can go into ten one time. One times six is six. Subtract and get four. Bring down to zero. Six goes into forty. Six times, that's 36. Subtract, you get 4. Bring down to 0. 6 goes into 40. 6 times, 36. You get 4. So you can see that the 6 is repeating. So my answer, my answer would be 0 0.16 with the 6 repeating. Press this mixed number as a decimal number. So first I want to put it as an improper fraction. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so 7 thirds, so it's really 7 divided by 3. Seven, 3 goes into 7 two times, three, 2 times 3 is 6, subtract, you get 1, bring down the 0. 3 goes into 10 three times, 3 times 3 is 9, subtract, you get 1, bring down the 0. 3 goes into 10 three times. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract, you get 1. So I can see that my 3 is repeating. So my answer would be 2.3 repeating. Next example. We want to do the same thing with these. So this would be 3 divided by 11. 11 goes into 30 two times. 2 times 11 is 22. Subtract, you get 8. Bring down to 0. 11 goes into 80 seven times. 7 times 11 is 77. Subtract, you get 30 or 3. Bring down to 0. And you can see that since it was 30, I go right back to the beginning. So I, this would go 2 which will give you 22, subtract to give you 8, bring down the next 0, goes into 7, so 77, and so on. So my answer would be 0 0.27 with the 27 repeating. 2 ninths, so this would be 2.000 divided by 9. 9 can't go into 2, but 9 goes into 20, 2 times. 2 times 9 is 18, subtract to get 2. Bring down to 0, 9 goes into 18, or 9 goes into 20, 2 times, that's 18. Subtract, get 0, bring down the 2. So I can see that the 2 is repeating, so it's 0 0.2 repeating. 2 and 3 thirds, so this would be 8 thirds. So it would be 8.00 divided by 3. 3 goes into 8. 2 times, 3 times 2 is 6, subtract, you get 2, bring down 0, 3 goes into 20, 6 times, 6 times 3 is 18, subtract, you get 2, 
dropping down to zero. You can see that it's going to be the same. So six is repeating. So this would be 2.6 repeating. Then one divided by 30. I just put a bunch of zeros after the decimal points, just so I know I have enough. 30 can't go into 1, 30 can't go into 10, but 30 can go into 100 three times. 3 times 30 is 90. Subtract, you get 10. Bring down to 0. 30 goes into 100 three times. So that'd be 90 again. And that's just going to be repeating, so it'd be 0 0.03 with only the 3 repeating. Next one, find five sixths of twelve dollars and forty seven cents. So five sixths of twelve dollars and forty seven cents. So first off, I have five. We'll make five sixths as a decimal. As a decimal, so five times six, uh, five divided by six. That is 0 0.83 repeating. And then we multiply that by $12.47. And so if we take, instead of writing, uh, having the whole thing repeating, we'll just do, we'll just estimate this to be 0 0.83. And then multiply that by $12.47. So 0 0.83 times $12.47 would give you a, an answer of $10.35. If you were to have the repeating part in there, then you would then you would get a little bit more. It would be about $10.39. And so that would be that would be more of an accurate Answer, but if we round, since we rounded, we rounded 0.83 to just 0.83, that made us a little bit smaller or shorter, smaller amount. Next question: Arrange in order from least to greatest. So, from the smallest decimal to the largest decimal. And so we're just looking at um, at the digits here. 0.3, it's really 0 0.30. So this one is really 0 0.30. There's nothing after, so we just keep it there. 0.3 repeating would really be 0.3333 and keeps going. This one only ends at 0.33. So our smallest one would be 0.3. Then our next smallest one would be 0.3. Three, three. And the last one would be 0.3 repeating. The one with the, the, the repeating des decimal would be the one that lasts forever, would be the biggest number because it continues to go, go further and further. And our last slide, these practice problems. Round each decimal to the nearest thousandth, so three decimal places. So this would be 0.333. The fourth digit would be 3, so it just keeps it at 0 0.333. 0 0.6 repeating. The 6 repeating, so it would be 0.667. Because if I were to continue it, this is 6 repeating. All the digits would be 6. So the fourth one is a 6 that tells you to round the last 6 to a 7. And then 0. 3636. Six. The next digit is 3, so it keeps it at 6. And then we have 1.86, and it'd be 6, 6, 6, and 6, and it keeps going. So three decimal places. I gotta go back to the, uh, the previous one. Since the fourth one is a 6, that means I need to raise this one to 4. So it'd be 0 0.364. This one, the fourth place, is a 6. So I need to round 
this next one up to 7. So 1.867. And then our final problems, arrange these in order. So this is just like the 0.3. So we have 0.6 is the smallest. Then it's 0.66. And then the one with the repeating, 0.6 repeating is our largest number. And the last one here, this one is just 0.5. This is 0.5 repeating, so 0.55. This is 0.3 repeating. So if let's look at the smallest number. The smallest one is going to be actually this one, 0 0.06 repeating. Then our next smallest one would be uh, 0.3 then one third, then one half, and then 0 0.5 repeating. That's our lesson on repeating decimals.